guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see from the rail, it is my top five winter coats. I was thinking I still haven't filmed a coat video this winter, so I thought this was due. In order to be able to go into details, I selected only five coats, and as I said, these are like my top five investment coats. So in this video, you're not gonna find um, high street coats or like good high streets like that I normally wear, for example, from another stories or Arquette or Uniqlo. Um, it's because I wanted to uh, focus on designer coats, like coats that you invest in and you take with you towards your whole life, really. Today we are focusing on investment coats and we have five coats from Max Mara and Totem. Okay, I'm gonna start from the most classic Max Mara coats. If you want to dig into Max Mara, into my Max Mara coats, you can also, I'm gonna link it down below in the description box for you, together with everything that you're gonna see in this video, what I'm wearing, all the coats, the accessories that I use for the try on, everything is gonna be in the description box. But on my YouTube channel, there is also another video, another dedicated video of the Max Mara coats. So you can also watch that one. But since my collection expanded from last year, I thought I'm gonna, you know, film an updated video today. Max Mara Madame coat in wool and cashmere. This, it is the most, to me, this is the most classic and timeless coat that you could ever buy. Um, it is the same style that was uh, created in 1981. It hasn't changed. You have here inside, um, basically is like the history of the coat, when and how it was created. Very interesting. So this is the camel color. And also I have it in brown. So these are my two colorways. Um, this brown is a sort of like, more like a top shade of brown because if you browse on the website and you're gonna find it linked down below where I bought it, um, it comes also in a more chocolate shade of brown. So if you think that this is, you know, more your taste, um, it comes in two shades of brown. It is around the 2,100 euros price point and you can find it in all the uh, neutral colors. So, so it's about seven, eight colors. Uh, camel brown, so this top color, chocolate brown. It comes in black, in white. It comes in red as well. Um, navy blue, I love it. Um, so, you know, like all the classic timeless colors. In terms of um, fabric composition, you don't find anything synthetic in these coats. So I'm gonna read it for you. It is 90% virgin wool and 10% cashmere. I think there is also a version that there is more cashmere but that's much more expensive. And I think this is already good enough, you know? It's a blend of wool and cashmere, um, excellent quality. Uh, if, you can, if you could touch it, it is super soft. And uh, you can see it better in the, um, I think in the camel one. This is the signature uh, Max Mara stitching. So you have it all around, uh, down the sleeves, in the neckline, and uh, uh, it is double-breasted at the front. Um, I really like to wear it open, but you can close it as well, and it comes with a belt. Now, one thing to be careful um, with this belt, you can't just wear it open with the belt, you know, loose, because 
um, you don't have anything to secure the belt that in a way I think it makes the silhouette much nicer because sometimes if you don't wear it with the belt you have these two things there and I don't like it my tip it would be like the days that you wear it belted just you know wear it with a belt if you don't want to wear it with a belt just leave the belt at home and then when you put it away you have a hook here and then you can just store it away like this so you don't lose the belt um, I don't like to wear it with the belt here it feels a bit weird so I to be honest with you I mainly wear it without the belt so every time I leave the house I just leave the belt at home just to be on the safe side. The reason why I love this coat so much is that because it is an 80 classic. So the design hasn't changed since the 80s. So you have like a dropped shoulder the design. It is the same of the 80s. So it is a timeless classic and I think this is the main reason I like it. I um, have two different sizes of this. They, um, Camel one is the first one I got last year. It is an Italian 46, so it's very big, and it would be a UK 14. So now, just for you to be able to compare, I wanted the coat to be long, I wanted the coat to really play on my sleeves. I can show you again, even if you have it on the cutaway. So basically, what I love about this coat, it is the big sleeve, okay? So in order to accentuate that and to have it like quite dramatic, because I'm tall, I'm 175 and I have very long arms. So I normally, I would be size 10 in clothes. But I do like to wear size 12 because I don't like my clothes unless it's like a skinny jeans or something that is meant to be tight. I always go for size 12 because I like my clothes to be a little bit loose, so size medium, 12. And this one, it is a 14, so one size up again. Because I also really like to wear the sleeves a little bit rolled up and have this detail like you see it looks so nice and big the top one it is more of my regular size size 12 and an italian 44 you can see the difference in the cutaway and finally what i think i really like about this coat it is like so minimal there is no logo there is no nothing unless you look inside then of course inside it is Max Mara all fully lined and as I mentioned before there is the history of the coat on the side but when you walk down the street it doesn't scream logo anywhere you're just gonna look like you're wearing a really nice designer coat but it doesn't scream logo anywhere and I love, I love this about that because that is what really makes it even more timeless. Next up, it is another designer coat, the Totem signature coat in camel. I cannot stress enough the joy of a tall person like me to find a coat that already comes oversized, that I don't have to, you know, buy a size extra large. I got a size medium, it is already coming oversized, it is long enough, it covers my knees, it is, it is nice to find something that is already designed of a shape that I like without having to size up, you know, two, three sizes as I normally do. It is still like a wool and cashmere blend, so similar to the Max Mara one but it is a bit of a lower price point. This one it is 900 euros. It comes in black as well, so camel and black. I went for the classic camel one, but I also want to compare it to this camel. It is two different shades of camel. Max Mara one, it is a little bit 
lighter while this one it is a proper camel color also if you are looking for a black coat i think the totem one it is a very good choice to also get it in black i went for the camel because i think i can style it in more different ways it reflects more my personal style i love all the shades of camel and um, if you go through my instagram as well you can see more stylings with this coat so i wear it with like camel on camel i wear it with black i like it how i wore it today with stripes so um, that's why i went for another camel and i think that the main difference between the totem coat and the max mara they are to be honest with you quite different from each other the max mara one it is more of a you know classic shape while the totem one it is you have like you know the great color it is all more it's like less structured and like more floaty and then also the pockets are different so the totem one you have like two front pockets while the max mara have like regular pockets on the side next up moving on on to the uh, teddies so as for the previous uh, max mara coat you have a dedicated video on my channel where i go into depth with the teddies but last year um during the christmas holidays i was in italy in the um, i always go to max mara every time i'm in italy is uh, one of my favorite brands in general. I love the quality, I love the classic pieces and I tried on this one last year but in the store in Ravenna when I was back home they only had it in camel and I thought I don't know if it makes sense to have the exact same but without the sleeves and then so I went for the light color and I it's like the Teddy Gilet, I absolutely adore it. Like you can dress it up, you can wear it with just like a hoodie underneath. I think this is just such a good piece to have. I think it is also quite a good price. So let's say that you are in love with a Teddy coat and it is too expensive. This, it is, of course, it is not the same thing because it's sleeveless and it's shorter as well but it is kind of half price of the teddy so this is just over a thousand euros and i think it is such a good investment and to be honest with you i think that i know that it's sleeveless but the ways i've been wearing it since i got it you can layer it up enough and just have the same length of the coat because for example you can also add like a blazer for example underneath or a leather jacket and you can layer it up enough to have the exact same length of a regular coat. Actually, because this is all teddy, it's probably even warmer than a regular, like let's say, woolen coat. Definitely warmer than if you get a high street synthetic coat that, you know, polyester won't keep you warm. Let's go more into detail. The jacket, it is called Libano uh, Teddy Vest and it is the exact same material of the teddy coat which is a composition of alpaca wool and silk and this specific one it is in the color uh, beige fully lined inside with the max mara um, silk uh, fabric with the print like the m from max mara and i believe i got a size medium yeah it is a size medium it's pretty much the same as the teddy on top but it just came out without the sleeves and shorter it is a transseasonal piece so you can start wearing this from autumn and take it all the way to spring moving on to the next one and last one of this video for today it is um, the classic signature Max Mara teddy coat in, in the camel color. 
some sides they call it brown, to me it's like camel, but it is like the classics, the classic of the classics, teddy. I purchased this, I think it was, I don't want to be wrong, but three years ago, uh, so this is going to be the third winter, I think, that I have the Maxmara teddy, never regret this choice. The price it is 2,200 euros so it is an investment coat as well but it's something that I think I will wear for life. It's a size large so I think a medium would have been good enough but what it was it's always tricking me is the sleeves you see like they're not extremely long. I thought the medium the sleeves were too short. I, I love it. I wear it mainly uh, open, so I got, I think someone asked me in the previous video if, you know, when you close it and you walk down, it keeps opening and I, I was like, I was thinking of it and I was like, I don't think I ever close this coat, I always wear it open, it's so warm, so this is the coat that you wear when it's really, really cold. So I don't, it's already warm enough without closing it. Maybe sometimes if I feel cold, I do this, but I definitely like never really wear it closed. It is made of camel hair, 88% camel hair and 12% silk. This one also has wool and this one is only camel hair and silk, it doesn't have wool, but it's, when you touch it, it's very, very similar and um, it's made in Italy. Of course, this is like the classic of the classics, Max Mara. It comes in a lot of colors as well. It comes with cashmere, which I think is about double price again. This is just like the regular one and I love it. Check the link below. You have a very huge variety of classic colors. So. It can, it depends what you need in your wardrobe, what is, you know, what matches your outfit the most, what color you prefer to wear and, you know, what it can be more versatile in your wardrobe. Okay guys, these were my top five winter coats. Um, I think you agree with me, they are all gorgeous, like all investment, so this is I didn't buy all this in one season, just to make it clear, it is something that you built up in your timeless wardrobe, you know, and then you wear it forever. Um, yeah, so this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed it, please let me know if you have any questions, all the links are going to be down below in the description box. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, like this video and uh, ask me any questions. I always try to get back to everyone and let me know what it can be the next video and I'll film it for you. See you to the next one.